on this yesterday. Salt water burns. Now the process John Kansas invented a few weeks ago or a month ago or something. It sends radio waves through salt water and it ignites it on fire. And this is a possible fuel. This is fuel. This is the, the evolution. Follow the water. Salt water is the new fuel. It's ignited with radio waves, electricity, plasma. He hasn't explained it why yet because he wants he's, it's patent pending and they're working on it. But uh, this interview about it explains a little bit and I was reading a little bit and I think what happens is that there's, hi there's hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, and that's what creates the, the water. Then there's salt, which is sodium nitrate, I think, or sodium phosphate. Anyway, there's sodium in it. So the radio waves come in and somehow disrupt the, the way the water is, and I believe it gets rid of, it breaks up the molecule, H2O, and it creates an oxygen molecule and two hydrogen molecules. And the two hydrogen molecules, no, no, I feel like a poor math teacher right now. He hasn't explained why yet. I think that it is, that the molecule is reacting. It's a hydrogen explosion. And the two hydrogen peel off, the two oxygens peel off, or two singular oxygen atoms peel off and create an oxygen molecule. And then somehow the phosphate, or the sodium rather, reacts with the hydrogen, causing a hydrogen explosion, causing the hydrogen to split, or fuse, I think it splits because it gets up to temperatures of about 1500 degrees centigrade. Explosions of fire just from radio waves and salt water. I believe that the sun consists of salt water and that it is an electromagnetic conductor. That's why the surface of the sun is only 6,000 degrees and the corona and the area around it, that's the reason it even has a corona to begin with, is electric expansion, like one of those plas plasma things, that, those balls that you touch and you see all the electricity, that's the sun. That's the same process. It's a conductor of heat. But it's reacting, the water, this literal salt water, is reacting with the sun to create is reacting with the electricity to create heat, which is cooling down all the other water and turning it into rock. I went to take it into why the planets came into being, and I don't know. Well, I'm sure I do know, but that's not really what this is about. This is about the sun and the way the sun works and the reason that the people constantly make new uh, realizations about the sun because it's made of fucking water. And a lot of other stuff now. But it's there, and that's what's igniting it when it reacts with the radio waves or with the frequency, with the... whatever it is that's coming into it. The electric currents travel throughout the universe from point to point. You can see them if you look into the sky with telescopes with radio telescopes. You can see it. You see that they're bouncing off of stars. They're passing through stars and conducting them. It's energy. It's electricity. It's half of existence. It's what animates existence. The gravity is what keeps it together and the electricity is what animates it. Heats it up. This fuel has changed the world. So now we're going to go to something sustainable.